My name is Hannes Grobinger. We are here at the European Micro Show in Madrid showing our latest Hubensuna products for the RF energy market. Uh, I'm here with Robert Wiedler. He is uh, one of our system engineers and he will help me showing the latest products. For RF energy, there is a move into using solid state for better controllability uh, on the RF source, bringing a lot of additional features for applications such as cooking and warming. Typically, this means a move away from magnetrons and also changing connectivity there. Changing connectivity mainly means we have to connect PCBs on the amplifier, which traditionally are connected by connectors, cables, which are long, large, have not the required power capability and specifically are expensive. In contrast to all that, Hubasuna comes up with a solution which is fully integrated on the board. We have a connector which is soldered, which eliminates traditional RF interfaces and which uh, is directly connected to the application. Application means we would either connect to the cooking cavity itself go into a traditional waveguide or use our polymer supported waveguides. Polymer supported waveguides can be either completely dielectric filled waveguide like this one having the advantage of additional size reduction or can be hollow waveguides like this bringing the same kind of flexibility but being a little larger and having lower losses. Both concepts allow very easy forming, bends, integration into the application because finally it will be required to go to the feeding points required for optimal, uh, for optimal wave propagation into the cavity, forming the modes as they are required and at the end to get the best controllability over the cooking modes in the microwave oven. For this example, we have prepared our current demonstrator, which basically shows how integration can be and how close components and building blocks can move together and how simple things become once we use those components. We also can show that those things work. And for this uh, purpose, we have prepared a Swiss company, of course, Fondue, which we try to cook in this microwave oven. The fondue we are cooking here recommends on its manual to cook it for 90 seconds, another steering and another 60 seconds in a 600 watt microwave. We use here a 250 watt solid state amplifier and we will cook it for only 30 seconds, steering and another 30 seconds, meaning that we cook it at half the power in half the time. This is one of the advantages of solid state, uh, solid state amplifiers, that we are faster and we get the energy better into the food. But for the industry, there's other factors which are important. Better food quality, uh, constant temperature over different kind of food, and of course, better repeatable quality of the food, which is specifically also important for chain restaurants and professional cookers. We have the power level, we have the reflected energy, we have the frequency, and we have the physical temperature on the die in degrees Celsius. Meaning we are at 250 watts at 2.419 gigahertz. Uh, the oven is switched on. This, the frequency has been selected for lowest possible reflection, meaning highest energy penetration into the food. And lowest possible reflection, which uh, seems to be 5% only in this case. Uh, temperature on the die will, of course, increase over time since there are certain losses in the amplifier. 30 seconds are over, so Robert will take out the fundi, will steer it as it is in the manual, and will put it in for another 30 seconds in the next step. To show one detail on the connector, 
I said the interface has been removed, the standard RF interface has been removed, meaning the antenna is directly implemented on top of the connector. There is some specific soldering process applied to the bottom. And uh, this way, with, with having applied also a RF gasket, uh, mechanical stress, and the need of very high tolerances is taken out from the system needs. That's why installation is very simplified due to this uh, connector. Now we are done with the fundy and after a quick steering, we are perfectly ready for giving people a try on our food. We cooked with our demo unit here having RF amplifiers implemented in this oven and in a very compact and uh, cost-efficient way. You want to try? <laughs>